acoustic sets, uh, when we first started talking to them about them was down in um, Brazil, actually. We went out and saw some music, and this idea of maybe having an, an acoustic set open up the electric set, um, started. we started playing around with that idea, and it's come to life now for this tour, and it's wonderful. It really is inspiring to show this side of ourselves. The thing about playing percussion and playing trap set, it's, it's, it's like night and day. Um, a lot of people think, oh, you're just beating on something. Well, you are beating on something, but you have to beat on it a certain way. Seeing him play hand percussion, bongos, congas, you know, it, it actually kind of surprised me. Not surprised me like, oh my God, he could play congas, but the fact that he could play them as long as he could because most drummers is just like you're used to having sticks and beaters, mallets, blast sticks, you know, and he does some of that stuff too on the percussion set, but like seeing him get into playing congas with his hands for most of the song, I'm just like, man, I know his hands must be killing him right now. <laughs> It's been so great, man, just to see a different side. And I think that's a big part of what has made the acoustic set so fun, is just Carter being able to convey the groove and much of the excitement that he does on the big hit on a small percussion rig. And it's been great, man. And he's, what can I say, I'm lucky to be here and be able to play with a musician like him. so much to walk out there and see all those people cheering you know and to see them uh, respond to to us playing acoustically you know to, to see them respond to me playing congas and, and bongos and shaker days and, and miscellaneous percussion and to see Stefan playing acoustic bass so for us to be able to see that it, it's it's like a kick for us you know so we want to give it up even more you know we want to we want to you know to, to, to push the, the, the envelope a little more. When we're up there playing with the acoustic set, we can see each piece that we play. We can actually see the faces of the people that are, are touched by that piece of music. Some of the things that the crowd like goes the, the most wild over are like the quietest things, like the quietest notes. You know, that means that they're really listening to every ounce of the music which is really cool. So it's been kind of a this strange, unexpected relief to be able to go out and, and just play a show and then take a little break, get some tea, look after my voice. My body's starting to say, hey man, give me a little more air, man. <laughs> more times. Everybody that it's obviously a lot 
we're all closer together and it's a more chiller thing, but everybody's ears seems to open up in different ways. And it's just nice to see Carter, just everybody's just closer. So there's, a, besides the fact that it's quieter and we can hear each other, there's just something about the group vibe of that. It's been a long time since I've been able to sing. And while I'm singing, look at Carter. It makes it a different thing because he's always behind me. I can't see him. And when we're playing songs, to be able to look at each other while we're playing, when I'm still singing, that's a really nice change. I like that. In the acoustic set, I can see everybody uh, spot on, and I can just give eye signals to, to different cues and to make sure we're ready for the next hit or to make sure that everybody knows where the one is. Along with that, the fans, they get to see those little signals because they don't see all that stuff during the electric set. The fans get to see that, and that's what it's all about. Again, it's got that intimacy of like a small group um, but it's in front of 20, 25,000 people some night. That intimacy, I think, is, is really appealing to us, and I think it really appeals to the audience, too, to see us and to hear us and to feel us in that, in that semicircle there, in that crescent. Part of the show is with the seven of us sitting in a room together, at least that half an hour, 20 minutes between the sets. Man, that was hitting, baby! How fun! Yes. Right, good time, good, good time. Good, good time. Yeah, I'm yeah. not Nice, y'all, nice. Ain't no little animals. You got some big moves. One new. It makes it more interesting for us, too, because it's, it's like episodes of, an, of a night. It's like courses of a meal, maybe, or like uh, an intermission. It's a nice thing in intermission.